What's up, guys? My name is Marcus Huskins, and thank you for joining me. As always, if you're finding this content useful, please go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that subscribe button, and I appreciate your support. All right, so moving right along, this video is going to be a super simple, quick tip. We've been spending a lot of time over the last two or three weeks on focusing on different ways that we can increase our productivity, maybe streamline your workflow, specifically when working in the arrange window. Now, you may have noticed that due to the way that I work, at any given point in time, I may have some tracks open that have envelopes that are open, like I do here. You can see I have my volume and pan information for these tracks that's visible. Now, in addition to that, you may also note that I also like to use folder tracks to organize things. And sometimes within these folder tracks, we're looking at a track and I might have those envelopes expanded. So at any given point in time, my arrange window can look a little bit messy. And as of course we know, we could simply right click and I could, you know, close these tracks just by clicking this expand envelopes and making sure that I hide these. And we know that we can also collapse these folders by clicking these folder icons one at a time. But in all honesty, sometimes I just want to clean up my view really, really quickly in one simple key command. And there's actually a way that we can do that. It's a menu command that's found under the track menu and it's collapse all tracks. And if you've ever wondered what this does, check this out. We click this once, boom, everything has been collapsed. Meaning that if we had tracks that were expanded so that we could view the envelopes like this, firing off that menu command over here, collapse all tracks, you can see that I've mapped this out to a key command because I don't like to use my mouse. So I could potentially have all of these envelopes visible. Maybe I'm doing some type of work that requires me to be finessing my automation. But if I wanted to close that up quickly, boom, that's it. So simple that I can do that really, really quickly. The other cool thing is that it also works for folders. So it doesn't just work for automation envelopes. You'll notice that I have these folders open. Let's also expand all the envelopes for these tracks over here. So really, you know, let's go ahead, actually, let's just select everything over here. We'll select every single one of these tracks, right click, we'll expand the envelopes. So this would be very detailed view of our volume and our pan envelopes. But if I wanted to collapse everything super quick and also collapse my folders, I just fire off that key command, which again, collapse all tracks, boom. And now I've just simplified my view. And the great thing is if I open up one of these folders, it's no longer open. So this will actually just close up any envelopes, close up any folders. And I find it really, really useful because due to the way that I work, I tend to use folders connected to buses or VCAs. And then if I'm viewing envelopes or anything, it's so simple for me to just collapse my session really, really quickly. And I could be left off with just these tracks over here. And then I can zoom them into view and continue working. So once again, that is found under the track menu and we can see collapse all tracks. And I would highly advise heading into the keyboard shortcuts and you could just type in collapse and it's under track collapse all tracks. Just go ahead and choose something that works for you. Maybe a key command that's available. It's super, super useful, especially if you're in the habit of viewing lots of different automation envelopes and folders, and you just really quickly want to close everything up. Now the benefit here, like I said, is that I can go through and I can quickly just open up all my folders again, and I can have these open and then collapse them and I'm in business. So Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you guys got something from this video. Any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them down below. If you're finding this content useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.